Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 2 on partial ordering. In this lecture, we will discuss one more example on partial order relation. Before going for this example, we just recall that a relation R on a set P is called partial ordering if this relation R is reflexive, antisymmetric and transitive. So whenever we want to prove that relation R is a partial ordering on a given set, we have to prove that relation R is reflexive, antisymmetric and transitive. Here in this example, uh, we are given the divides relation on the set of positive integers. Set of positive integers is denoted by Z plus or this symbol for set of natural numbers. And we have to show that divides relation is a partial order relation on the set of positive integers. So first we write down that uh, relation R which is divides relation in this uh, example is given by set of all those ordered pairs in Z plus cross Z plus and relation is divides relation. So order pair AB is a member of divides relation if first component of this order pair divides second component that is A divides B and uh, instead of writing R we can use uh, this uh, symbol of divides relation also to uh, denote this divides relation on the set of positive integers and uh, we have to show that R is reflexive and symmetric and transitive. For uh, reflexivity uh, we have to prove that if we take any positive integer A then it must be in given relation R and by the condition of this relation ordered pair A A belongs to R if A divides A and uh, this is always true uh, we can always write any integer A as 1 into A that is A is a multiple of itself therefore A divides A for any positive integer A therefore relation R is reflexive so we can directly write that for any A in the set of positive integers uh, it is clear that clearly A divides A this means ordered pair a A belongs to R and this A is arbitrary positive integer therefore relation R is reflexive on the set of positive integers. Second property we have to prove is antisymmetry and for antisymmetry we have to prove that if A is related to B and B is related to A then A and B must be same for any A, B in the given set. So we start by considering arbitrary positive integers. Let A, B belongs to Z plus and we assume that these two positive integers are such that A is related to B that is A, B belongs to R and B is related to A that is B, A belongs to R and uh, we want to prove that A and B must be equal. Now AB belongs to R means A divides B and BA belongs to R means B divides A and by the definition of divisibility if A divides B then B can be written as multiple of A. Suppose B equal to some positive integer say K1 into A and uh, similarly b divides a that means a must be multiple of b so suppose a equal to k2 into b and uh, here k1 and k2 are some positive integers k1 k2 belongs to z plus now here b equal to k1 into a that we can substitute here so uh, let's see what happens in the next step now in the next step we are putting this value of b in this equation a equal to k2 times b 
that means a equal to k2 times k1 into a and here k1 and k2 are positive integers now here there are two possibilities for this uh, positive integer a uh, that uh, it can be zero or non zero but we are considering a from set of positive integers that means a cannot be zero and if k a is non zero then we can cancel out a from both sides so in the next step i am writing 1 equal to k2 into k1 i can cancel out a from both sides because a is positive integers and this means a must be non zero and k1 and k2 are also positive integers and their product is 1 this means k1 and k2 must be equal to 1 and if k1 and k2 are equal to 1 then we can see if i put k1 equal to 1 here i will obtain b equal to a and same thing here if k2 is 1 a equal to b so what we obtain we obtain that a and b are equal so if a is related to b and b is related to a or if a divides b and b divides a then a and b are equal and because a and b are arbitrary positive integers this proves that relation r is anti-symmetric relation and third property we have to prove is transitive property for transitive property we are considering three arbitrary positive integers say a b c in the set of positive integers and suppose these three positive integers are such that a is related to b that is a b belongs to r and b is related to c that is b c belongs to r and uh, if a is related to b and b related to c then we must have a related to c if our relation is transitive so we have to prove that whenever a b belongs to r and b c belongs to r we must have a c belongs to r so using this uh, assumption suppose that a b belongs to r and b c belongs to r then a is related to b that means a divides b and b related to c that means b divides c now a divides b gives me b as a multiple of a suppose b equal to some integer say k1 into a and similarly c is multiple of b because this uh, b divides c so c can be written as multiple of b and here i can write that for some integers k1 and k2 in the set of positive integers and uh, here i have b equal to k1 into a that i can substitute in this equation so i am putting b2 equal to k1 times a and uh, this k1 and k2 are positive integers therefore their product is also positive integer therefore we can see that c is an integral multiple of a that means a divides c and this means ordered pair ac belongs to r so whenever ab belongs to r and bc belongs to r we have shown that ac belongs to r therefore relation r is transitive relation hence we have shown that relation r is reflexive anti-symmetric and uh, transitive therefore relation r is a partial ordering or partial order relation on this set of positive integers that is on z plus so this is another example of partial order relation we have shown that the divides relation is a partial order relation on the set of positive integers in upcoming lectures we will continue with partial ordering thanks for watching